Welcome to the Flutter training course. My name is Scott Williams. I will be your instructor for the course. And throughout this course, we are going to create a mental health app from scratch all the way until deployment. And through this, we'll be learning Flutter with a project-centered approach. So instead of learning all things in a kind of mechanical way, we're going to just get our feet wet and get in there and start the project. About this course, we are going to start with just learning what the mental health app is, why we're using Flutter instead of other platforms out there. We're going to install Flutter, then we're going to install Android Studio. This is what I suggest you use when you're working with Flutter, but you can use any other IDE that you choose. Visual Studio Code also works, but it has different flavors, and I'll just be teaching with Android Studio. And we will build a simple base project. So the project centered learning is all about uh, creating a full cycle learning. So we're gonna I'm gonna cut this course up into steps and different approaches to take you all the way through planning, development, deployment, and maintenance of any app. And then why are we choosing mental health app? Because we believe that there will be an increased demand and also this will help other people no matter what. If anybody comes along who's having issues, we want to help them as much as we can and we want to contribute to the mental health research areas. So just by creating more content and making it more accessible, more people can get help. And it has all the parts needed to learn Flutter in depth and that's really what we're looking for because we will be also creating a social media aspect um, and all different types of services. And our app name is going to be Stable Mind. Why Flutter? Flutter is a cross-platform SDK framework. Therefore, we can export our project into mobile, iOS, Android, web development, or even more, we can do TV, smartwatches. Flutter is really powerful in their cross-platform structure. And that gives us really good ability to reach more, uh, more audiences in a bunch of different types of devices. The next thing is Hot Reload. This allows developers to see changes instantly. So... Basically, if you, are, if you have a simulator up or you're working on like the phone and you just hit save of a change, it will instantly show you. So you can develop faster. You don't have to, you know, keep reloading and things like that. The next is widget based approach. So we can build beautiful and complex interfaces quickly and easily. And with widgets, we can also customize them and put them where we want, or we can use the default ones, which would speed up our development faster. And then the next is performance. So Flutter apps are compiled to native code and not in a web view or intermediary layer. This means that when you deploy in a Flutter app, that means that they um, it translates into the language of that platform, which makes it as smooth as possible. Flutter also has a large and growing community, which you could find answers pretty much to any problem you have online. It has great integration with Firebase, and this is what we're going to be using for our database, for analytics, for like people registering into our software and all different kinds of things. Also, deep linking is a very powerful thing here. And it's all open source. So you can actually go right into the code and see exactly what's happening, where it's happening. You can fork the project and manipulate things. And we will be doing that with packages later on. So now we are ready to install Flutter in Android Studio. So let's get started. So now we are ready to install Flutter. So you can come to the Flutter website by Googling it, or I will put the links, all these links, below in the description. And in here, you can click your system, your computer system type. So if I, I am a Mac OS, 
and there are some special things with um, app silicone max so if you have a if you don't know exactly what this is all you gotta do is come up in the apple do about my mac and right here you see intel so therefore i am in intel not a app silicone but if you are you will also have to run this as well and go through this just step by step and if anything's cl not clear just let me know and i can make another video to explain anything about that and then we have android studio so this is the id that i will be using so just go to the website click download follow the links it's pretty straightforward you shouldn't have any issues there and then if you're using mac you will also have to install xcode if you don't have this is how uh, flutter renders it out into this native language and then it will generate this simulator into your system so make sure you download this and also give yourself plenty of time because xcode is pretty heavy so it's going to take a little while to develop so don't do it if you gotta leave or something all right well, then let's get started now that you have flutter and android studio installed let's um, come into android studio open it up and here you should see a new flutter project if you click on that you should be able to bring you in here and we should see the destination of our sdk if you don't see that just click this button here and go to that destination it normally looks like this user if you're in mac if you're in windows it might be a little different but just make sure you know where you save that now we're going to hit next here we're going to give the name of the project which is a stable stable mind um, actually we will do stable dash mind uh, just to make it more simple and clean and then we'll give a description a mental health app and we can describe this more later on and then we have to give our organizational names so so first you want to give your company name which I'm just gonna do Scott Williams dot stable mind so like that you can give this anything you want but that's what I'm gonna do and these languages here I'm not gonna mess with any of that and we just keep all this so we'll have web iOS Android so these are the best um, platforms to start with we can always add these other ones later so then we go finish and oh yeah sorry got to do underscore not not dash all right now that we are in here we should be able to run the project pretty simply so we could see that we're in android here's our project this is our project tree here up here this is our device so this this is going to be where you select your different devices this is where you run different aspects so if you have test or things like that you can run here we'll go deeper into those things this is where we're going to run the project we have debug these are all different performance things and like i said we will go through all these extra areas later but right now let's get the rest of the project set up so now that we have that let's open up a ios simulator if you have ios if you don't have this if you're in um, yeah if you're in Windows you might have to come in here and you might have to run one of these devices but I am in Mac so I'm gonna just open iOS simulator all right now that our iOS simulator is open we can come up here to simulator you can change different elements about your simulator you can come to file open simulator you can open different types of devices iPods iPads whatever different iPhone versions we're just gonna keep the standard right now keep it nice and simple and then just go up here to hit play and make sure that you see it right here and we're gonna hit play and then it's gonna build it out for us all 
All right, now that our project has finally loaded, everything got set up and it's ready, we can see the base project. So if we come in here, so if you go into lib, you'll see the main project here. If you click on that, if it's not already open. And right here, see where it says, um, so this is the title of the app. So right here where it says my home page. So let's go in here, let's change this to say stable mind app. Then I'm gonna hit save or command S and you see how it automatically updates. And this base app is basically just a counter. So if I click on this plus sign, we have it updates and that's all that does. So that's pretty much it for this course. Um, if you have any issues, please leave anything down in the comments. And now that we have our base project set up, we will start to clean this up, create some folders, and get started building out. All right, thank you.